day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boring. This is going to be a quick Phillies versus Rangers series preview. As we have Ranger Suarez versus John Gray off the on the mound. Excuse me. After the Phillies were able to take one of three from the Mets after sweeping the Colorado Rockies to recap the last two series, made it very easy on us for those two. But it came to this one, John Gray and both Ranger Suarez. Suarez has gotten off to the better start, obviously, since he's able to go two and zero. And he's been able to kind of battle ball in games, not find his best stuff, not have his best command yet. Uh, definitely a whip higher than he would like and you know he wants to have. But he's been able to battle through games. He pitched six against the Colorado Rockies on the 27th, giving up four walks but only allowing three. Then 4.2 against Milwaukee on the 22nd. And then he pitched five innings, two earned runs against Miami on the 16th to recap his last three starts. Uh, to start the season, uh, he only pitched two and two-thirds. And then after that, he's actually been pretty good since, uh, other than <clears throat> he wasn't able to go too deep in that game against Milwaukee, but he was able to limit the damage and hand it over to the bullpen. So the issue with Suarez thus far hasn't necessarily been his uh, overall the statistics he's given up. It's been when you watch him, you can just tell he doesn't have his best stuff yet. His stats honestly look fine other than the fact that his whip is high and his ERA is a little bit higher than you would like but his numbers look more like a guy that's in his second year coming off of a great year coming off of an injury trying to get the feel back but if you look at him uh, I think his numbers definitely don't paint the full picture because he's been able to battle big time and he's been able to put up I think still pretty good games in comparison to the fact that he's been banged up and still working his way back from that where Wheeler has really been trying to find himself back. Suarez has been able to battle through it a lot better than Zach Wheeler and all of his starts thus far. So I think this uh, pitching matchup will lean to Ranger Suarez because he pitched uh, really well, especially his deepest game was the last time out against Colorado when he was finally able to go into the sixth inning. So that gives me hope and promise in this first game. I would lean the Phillies in the first game because of the pitching matchup and also the fact that the Phillies have been a much more consistent team. I was high on the Rangers coming into the season. Actually, hell, I think I picked them to win that team division. I obviously I mean crow on that early, but there's still a lot of room to grow here in an early baseball season. They're eight and fourteen, the Phillies are eleven and twelve in hundred and sixty two game season. So a lot of room to move, but I give the Phillies the advantage in that first game. And now <clears throat> we're talking about aforementioned Zach Wheeler, who's taken a little bit longer uh to work his way back. Uh, from his injury here, but did then have a stellar last game out. So if we're going off for the last game, Ranger had his greatest last game, his greatest game of the season for Wheeler as well was his last game. It's just Rangers had more battle bunny starts beforehand, whereas Wheeler didn't. He got hit for four runs and five against Milwaukee and then got shellacked uh, by the Miami Marlins to recap his last three starts. So he hasn't been the sharpest this year overall, but he is coming off of his best start in his last outing. He's going to be going up against strike thrower, not a guy that's ever going to wow you with his stuff, but just a very good guy at mixing it uh, east to west and <clears throat> being able to get you out with his changeup and other breaking balls down below. Martin Perez, who's a guy that's a gamer that just knows how to kind of control the strike zone, kind of like a Ranger Suarez type pitcher, but I think Suarez obviously has the more potential over Martin Perez, or not Martin Perez, <laughs> yeah, over Martin Perez, yeah, I said his name right, and then Taewon Walker versus Aaron Nola, uh, that's going to be an interesting one, of course, you already saw that matchup, um, he had Walker pitch against us already in the previous series, but I feel like the Phillies can fare better against him, I think Nola's also been pitching a pretty solid overall. I mean, Andrew got into a, a little bit of a debate about that, but I think overall, Nola's pitch fine. He just has to go deeper into games, but so does every other pitcher on the staff that's not named Kyle Gibson in the games he was able to go deeper, and Wheeler um, in his last start, and Ranger in his last start. Otherwise, going deep into games has been an issue for the starting staff, but I would say that pitching matchup's at least even. On paper, we obviously have an advantage in the second game. It depends what Wheeler you get if you get last game out Wheeler or his previous starts before that as he's working his way back from his injury but it gives me promise with last game out Wheeler that I could see the Phillies winning two out of three in this series because the pitching matchups give me promise now it's just about having consistent hitting obviously and not hitting that gets you six runs like that last game in the Mets series and we've seen in other games this year as well because of those patch runs 
I mean when you have a good, more consistent hitting, like the seven to one games against the Rockies, the seven to three games, the ten to three games. You're never going to beat teams consistently by that score. But let's have more consistent hitting and not just those patches where you score in the second, then don't score to the eighth or some crap like that. But this has been a series preview to the Phillies versus Texas Rangers. The Phillies are the better team starting the season than the Rangers. Hopefully they can keep showing that this evening and start this series off with a bang and a win. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below. Above these views, would you to keep the channel growing to 250 or more by the start of June? Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Peace.